Eight months later and the Google Cloud Next conference is back in San Francisco, but this time with a new lead. I'm incredibly excited to have him leading Google Cloud. Thomas, take it away. Just 10 weeks into the job, Google Cloud's new CEO, Thomas Kurian, a former Oracle exec, took the stage and immediately got down to business. The first important announcement we're making here at Next is Anthos. It takes a very bold move to actually come up with Anthos, which in essence enables our customers to take their solutions, package them in a way to where they can be ported to any public cloud provider or even stay on premise. You can build and deploy apps rapidly both on premise and in the cloud with security built in. And there is more. Today we're also excited to announce that we are embarking on the multi-cloud journey. On stage, they deployed a VMware-based app inside of a Kubernetes container and deployed it at AWS. So that is the holy grail uh, of IT right now. Other announcements on Tuesday center around Google's commitment to open source. We're very pleased today to announce the first integrated open source ecosystem. So Google Cloud's tools are open source in nature, which has a very, very wide adoption rate in the industry, as well as it has a lot of innovative tools in terms of whether it be BigQuery, uh, machine learning, or any of the other advanced analytical tools. In, in the machine learning and data analytics space, um, there is no other leader right now. It all comes as Google fights to climb the cloud ladder, but one challenge could stand in the way. Google has baggage in that 90 to 95% of its revenue is consumer advertising. So what is it that Google's going to say and continue to say that says, I'm not running any ads, I'm not going to use your data. In fact, I can't even see your data. That to me, I think would be uh, a welcome commitment from Google tomorrow. For more coverage from the event, head to CRN.com. Reporting for CRN TV, I'm Diana Blass.